peace and welcome it's kathleen from cause creations sorry if you got a little glare here it's those dark canvases hey um we're gonna do a fun pour today and i'm excited about it because these are all of some of my favorite colors and i've come to find out they really really play well together so let's talk about that First of all, our canvas today is a gallery wrap 12 by 24. That is just a really nice elongated size. I love it. Our base coat looks black, but it's not. It's a really pretty, pretty combination. Hang on. Of golden phyllo blue and artist loft black. These two are mixed. Uh, not 50-50, the golden paint is very heavy pigmented, so I'd probably say two to one with my pouring medium, which is always, unless I'm out of GAC 800, is always 75% Floetrol to 25% Golden GAC 800. Now our colors today, Oh, I just loved, I did a small canvas yesterday and I called it a quick little ditty because I posted a video about it that was only about three minutes long, but the colors played so, so beautifully together. Our first color here is golden iridescent gold. And you gotta go a little easy on this cause it's a, a little bit of a bossy paint. The gold is. The next color is my fave, golden iridescent pearl. Then we have Deco Art Dazzly Metallics Peacock Pearl. And golden iridescent silver. These are just some really pretty, yummy colors, all in pearl with the exception of the base coat. So, um, our swiping tool today of choice are my flexible pieces of plastic. This is just an old report cover that I stole the plastic cover off of, cut into different sizes, and I have used the same ones since I started uh, doing some swipes with this pl flexible plastic. It works a little bit better than the paper towel. And the main reason on this type of swipe that I'm going to do is it has some weight to it. And when you do a swipe with your plastic, you have the ability to kind of press it down a little bit more, which will go a little bit deeper into the paint than a paper towel will and it allows you to bring up some of that base coat where you want it. So this is a good tool. A lot of people use those paint swatches that you get from Lowe's or Home Depot. I have not used those yet because these guys look, work really, really good for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rocking and rolling on that. Oh, oh, let me show you something. This baby is drying so beautifully. I hope you can see it, these colors together. And ah, green is not my jam, but this just turned out gorgeous. I can't wait till it's dry and I can varnish it. And um, I might, it's, it's a, a thin canvas. I might take the canvas off the stretcher and uh, put it in a nice frame with um, a nice mat on it. But this is just so warm. This painting really, really made me smile. And I was grateful when I came down and uh, there were no bugs or bo boinkers in it or anything. That's always a good, good feeling. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get quiet, put some music on for uh, two reasons. I like to dance around when I'm painting in my happy place, the no bra zone. And secondly, the weather here is really crazy. It's raining and there's a lot of thunder and 
lightning going on. So if you see me jump, <laughs> you'll know why. And I don't want to subject you all to that. So wish me luck. As always, Paint and Peeps, I'm glad you're here. And I'm wishing each and every one of you a wonderful painting day. Talk soon. guys this is really pretty <laughs> I wish you could see the way the pearl just glides over these other colors I'm gonna have to play with this some more because I have some really really cool ideas it's celled up beautiful absolutely no silicone is used in my uh, paintings guys and this dark blue background you know I don't know if y'all noticed but artist loft black all black I am in search of the perfect black when it dries it dries with a really dull hue to it now granted when you put your varnish on top of it it brings it back to life but this background is absolutely stunning with the uh, phyllo blue and the uh, black mixed together but this is fun I might come into it after it dries a hundred percent maybe use some paint pens and accentuate some things I'm gonna stare at it a while because I feel I need something down in through here so I'm gonna noodle a little bit guys I'm so glad you joined me this was so much fun for me let's go in for a close-up I hope that you can see these colors if not I will certainly at the end of this video you will see um, the dried results so guys thank you as always for being here I am very grateful wishing each and every one of you a happy painting day or evening I'll miss you till I see you again guys bye now